Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Xora for another progress video on my account. Now for today's video I will actually go ahead and try to prestige as much as I can, do some Slayer, get some Slayer points, all that good stuff. Now before we get into that I just want to announce another giveaway as you can see right here on the donation store. Once again I will be giving away $25 that you can spend on anything in the donation store right here. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on the notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below and I will be picking the winners in just about 2 days. Anyways, enjoy the video. Also real quick, I got a 100ml old school RS GP giveaway going on in my community discord, the link is down below in the description so definitely make sure you check that out. Alright so real quick shout out right here to Cerberus and his team for letting me join the raids, this is a really nice and quick money maker, just got myself and a Carol's Coif, I will be doing a bunch of other raids uh, hopefully with them and uh, see if I can get lucky. Alright, here we go, another loot and uh, just two Barrows pieces, that's about 5 mil. And here we go for another Raid's loot, once again just some uh, normal items, nothing too special. And there we go, that's another Raid's done, come on, let us get something cool. Oh, just 4.1 mil cash, that's actually the worst drop we've gotten so far. And another one, let's go, 4.5 mil and the worst possible drop you can get, sweet. And one more for the team, here we go, ancient stuff, that sucks, however, Luke, uh, Luke it's Jack, just got himself a Pernix body, congrats to you man. And here we go, this is the last raid that we are going to do together, just another 3 mil and a dragon dagger, let's go ahead and sell all the barrows pieces and see how much cash we made in total. So in total I had about 4.5 million GP left in my bank before I went off to raids, now I ended up with 39 million which means we made about 35 million in just a matter of like 30 minutes or something which is absolutely amazing, I'm really happy with that. And if you are wondering where most of my cash went, I actually bought myself a drop catcher for 830 million GP cash which is absolutely amazing. It was pretty cheap and this will help me out a lot while PVMing, especially because I like to AFK sometimes. Alright, so I'd like to prestige here, um, which will give me some more HP, prayer bonus and prayer uh, damage, which is really nice. Uh, wait, what? Alright, so the issue was that I didn't have 99 mage yet, so that has now been fixed. Let me just take on my range equipment, uh, and I would like to prestige. Here we go. Yes, once I'm prestige, I'm sure. Now I am level 1 prestige. I'm already leveling up because I have a ballista at the zombie setup. And there we go, that's already 99 prayer back. And I'm actually going to buy the Exo Sword with my Exo Points because these are actually one of the best swords. And there we go, that should be another Slayer Toss done in a second. Still training up my stats again. Oh, apparently this was um, a medium achievement as well for doing 10 Slayer Tasks. Okay, that's actually really nice. And let's see what we get for our new Slayer Task. It's going to be Steel Dragons. Okay, I'm going to skip the steel dragons and see what I will get as a next task. Um, Abyssal demons, okay that's awesome. Got myself three daily mystery boxes right here, let's go ahead and open them up real quick to see what we can get from these, hopefully we can get some nice reward. Upgraded angelic aura wings, that's actually really good because I think I can sell these to the general store for about 20 million or something. Um, then we get ourselves regular angelic aura wings, these are 5 million in the store which isn't too bad either. And let's see, 10 million cash, we got really lucky on those. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and sell these up real quick. Got myself a free 25 million just today from my daily mystery boxes. Also, I killed a Keishi dragon earlier today. Got myself a pair of dragon claws as a drop. That's actually really nice. Um, but yeah. And there we go. That's another Slayer task done. Once again, we just did a Wilderness Slayer task, which got us 9.9 .9 mil cash and 6 task points, which is really good. Anyways, got myself 4 more enchanted keys. Let's see if we can get anything real quick. Of course, we can't. So, moving on to get ourselves a new Slayer task. Let's see what we get. Oh no, more Abyssal Demons. How many? Oh, only 75. Okay, that's perfect. I'll go ahead and do those right away. 
And there we go, that's another Slayer task done. This time around we actually managed to do it in time and get ourselves that bonus Slayer point, which is really good. Anyways, let's go ahead and get a new one. So, time to get ourselves a new Slayer task. Hellhounds, how many do I have to kill? 85, that's not too bad. And there we go, that should be another Slayer task done. Once this one is dead, that is actually really nice. Alright, let's go ahead and get ourselves another Slayer task. It's going to be Black Dragons, not too bad. And there we go, that is another Slayer task done. I also managed to complete a Slayer challenge somehow. I don't know what that actually is. But with that done, I actually can go ahead and open up another daily mystery box. I forgot to convert the black dragons into a wilderness slayer task, which kind of sucks because now I didn't get double points and stuff. Oh, an armadillo godsword, that's actually really good. Anyways, let's move on and get ourselves a new task. Now for people who are wondering why I am doing so many slayer tasks at the moment, I want to learn how to kill the Ebon Chill Dragons. Now for this, I would need 75 task points and that's what I'm getting right now. Now once these are unlocked, I can go ahead and do my heart, ch um, heart uh, challenge scroll. Also, I can go ahead and kill these for a bunch of really good uh, weapon and armor upgrades, I do believe. I don't know what all the drops are, but those are actually really good. Alright, and that's another Slayer task done. This took a lot longer than I wanted. However, we got two Dravonic Keys, got ourselves two more um, Barrow Speeds, which is a total of an extra 5 mil. Anyways, this time around we stacked up a total of 12 keys. Can we get something this time around? Probably not though, like, I don't get anything ever. However, the Armadale Battle Staff, I actually have no idea if this is worth something in the store, so let's go ahead and sell this oh that's an actual five mil that's actually not too bad right moving on let's get ourselves another assignment hellhounds once again that's really good let's just check out how many points i have at the moment 53 we are almost there guys almost there i actually just checked and we got ourselves enough of these monster pieces to create ourselves this box so let's go ahead and upgrade this and then we will get ourselves what is this the monster box or something yeah, here we go, a Monster Mystery Box Tier 3, let's see what we can get. I can see some really dope rewards in here. We get ourselves a Monster Hunter's Hand Axe, I don't know if this is any good though. Okay, so my man Rude Boy right here just mentioned something about these axes. These are actually $200 in the donation store. Now at first I didn't believe him whatsoever, but then I went ahead and checked out the donation store. As you can see right here, Monster Hand Axe, $200. If you check for the more info, the Monster Hand Axe is a unique weapon. Each attack hits twice and is twice as fast. First being full, uh, being the full damage, and the second being 50% of the full damage. Which means we just got one of the best weapons in game. Like that's that's actually freaking insane. As you can see, Dark Matter Sword is also $200 uh, dollars in the store, uh, and basically does the same has the same effect. However, the Dark Matter Sword is still a bit more wealthy in-game, but st I, I can't freaking complain, I just got one of the best weapons in-game. And there we go, that's another Slayer task done. Another 7 Slayer points, not too bad. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves a new Slayer task right before we go to the Christmas Dragon. Blue Dragons 102, this of course will be another Wilderness Slayer task. Uh, and I think after this I will have enough points. Let me just check real quick. Oh, never mind I will have to do two or three more tasks to get enough points for the Ebon Chill Dragons Anyways, I've decided to upgrade a bit of my gear. So there we go. We just bought ourselves. Wait, what? Go back um, I probably need to add like 500k more or something um, But I'll go ahead and check out the Dravonic Helm and I'll buy myself that one because this one is the cheapest piece as you can see right there 150 50 million uh, but yeah that means I am cash broke now oh I just got myself a loot bag from a blue dragon now for the people who don't know this is basically um, the same as a normal looting bag you can store items in here and then you can take them out so it's nothing too special but this is actually quite rare to get and there we go that's another slayer task done and time to get ourselves another slayer task gargoyles I haven't actually gotten this before 92 that's actually really nice and there we go that's the gargoyle slayer task done all right time to get our final slayer task um so let's go ahead and see what we can get black dragons how many monsters oh, 120 that's so much but i guess i'll do it okay so i just got myself a magma key from the enchanted keys um 
So let's go ahead and open this, see if we can get lucky. We get ourselves 10 lava bars. I think these are actually used to make some armor, so I'm going to check that out. And there we go, that is the final slave task done that we needed to do. Okay, so I just pick hate someone because it was my daily challenge, also because it's an achievement. And I actually got a st uh, shadow stone ring, which is one of the best, uh, one of the better rings. It's the best ring that I have right now, so that's actually really nice. Anyways, now that we can finally unlock the Ebon Chill Dragons, that is actually really nice. Alright, so since I had enough monster parts, I actually want to make myself two more of these monster mystery boxes, see if we can get lucky once again, which would be absolutely amazing. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the tier 2 first, see if we can get something from there. If we could get something like the last time, that would be so insane. What even is that? I don't know what that is, but um, let's see. Oh, come on. Of course we get this, which is one of the worst drops that we can get, I guess. But um, yeah, let's see if we can get something from here. One mil? That sucks, man. Anyways, that's where I'll be ending up today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you didn't already. And I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace.